Okay, so amidst this presidential election that's coming up soon, I thought that it would be fun to do a presidential-themed brain teaser. And in this brain teaser, we have four presidents. We have Barack, George Bush, Bill Clinton, and George Washington. And they're all trying to fly to the Oval Office. And notice by each president that there is a certain amount of time that it takes for them to fly into the Oval Office. Okay, we have Barack Obama. He's kind of busy with work at the moment, so it takes him a full day to fly into the Oval Office. We have George W. Bush. We really don't know what he's doing, so it takes him uh, two days to fly into the Oval Office. Uh, we have Bill Clinton. Uh, he's probably busy uh, flirting with some college women, so uh, it takes him five days to fly into the Oval Office. And we have George Washington, who's never even seen a plane before, and he's really scared. It takes him ten days to fly into the Oval Office. So... The question is, is that what is the quickest amount of time to fly all these presidents into the Oval Office? And here are the rules. Uh, the rules are, is that only two presidents are allowed to fly in the plane at one time. Okay? And another rule is, is that the amount of time it takes for the presidents to fly into the Oval Office is always the same as the slower president. So for example, if uh, Barack and George Washington flew together, um, it would take 10 days to fly into the Oval Office since the slower of the two, George Washington, takes 10 days. Okay? And one more rule. Uh, the rule is, is that if two presidents fly to the Oval Office, somebody that's already in the Oval Office needs to fly the plane back. So for example, if Barack and George Washington decide to fly to the Oval Office, that would take 10 days. Say George W. Bush is already in the Oval Office, he decides to fly the plane back, he takes two days, so that would be a total of 12 days. So I think you get the idea by now. The question is, what is the shortest amount of time that it would take all four presidents to get into the Oval Office? So take your time, pause this video, and once you figure out the solution, come back and we'll go over this brain teaser together. Okay, so one little hint before I get started with the answer. It's not always a good idea to put the fastest presidents with the slowest presidents. Okay, um, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to pair Barack Obama with George W. Bush and we're going to fly them together into the Oval Office. So let's take Barack Obama and put him on the plane. Let's take George W. Bush and put him on the plane. Okay, and since the slower of the two presidents is George Bush and it takes him two days to fly into the Oval Office, it's going to take Barack and George two days to fly into the Oval Office. Okay, so now we have to choose who we want to fly the plane back to pick up Bill Clinton and George Washington. All right, so should we choose Barack Obama or should we choose George W. Bush to fly the plane back to pick them up? And the answer to that question is it doesn't matter. You actually can pick either one, and we're actually going to get the same answer um, either way. So let's just pick uh, Barack Obama to fly the plane back and pick up George and Bill Clinton. Okay, so it took them two days to fly to the Oval Office, and now it's going to take Barack Obama one day to fly back, so now we're at a total of three days. Okay, so the next question is, who should be the next two presidents to fly into the Oval Office? And the answer to that question is the two slowest presidents. I mean, if one president is going to take a long time to get to the Oval Office, you might as well put another slow guy in the plane as well. Um, so we're going to pick the two slowest presidents to get to the Oval Office. We're going to pick uh, Bill Clinton and George Washington. So let's take Bill Clinton and put him on the plane. And let's take George Washington and put him on the plane. And George Washington is the slowest president. It takes him 10 days. So it's going to take Bill Clinton and George Washington 10 days to fly into the Oval Office. So three days have already passed. It's going to take these two presidents 10 days. So now we're at a total of 13 days. Okay, so the next question is, which president should we pick 
to fly back and pick up Barack Obama? And the answer to that question is, of course, we want to pick the, the quickest president. So out of these three presidents, George Bush is the quickest. It only takes him two days. So I'm going to pick George Bush to fly back and pick up Barack. So here's George Bush. He gets into the plane. He flies back and he picks up Barack Obama. And we're, we were at 13 days. Uh, it takes George Bush two days uh, to fly back. So now we're at a total of 15 days. All right, and last but not least, we only have two presidents left, so of course uh, we're gonna stick both of the presidents on the plane. So first I will stick George Bush on the plane. And now, I will put Barack Obama on the plane and they both are going to fly together to the Oval Office since George Bush is the slower president it is going to take them two total days to fly so we were at 15 days and it takes them two days to fly so now we are going to be at a total of 17 days so what is the quickest amount of time that it takes to fly all these presidents into the Oval Office? The answer to our question is 17 days.